Hey guys, this is Gavin. I'm back again with another video. And today, this is going to be another video about cameras and lenses. But today, specifically, this is going to be about how to blur the background in your videos or photos. So, everyone likes that blurred out background look. It looks dreamy, it looks really good, it looks really nice. And people, people don't know usually how to do that. They always ask, like, oh, how do you blur the background? Like, what settings do I have to use? Well, I'm going to tell you that all right now. And I'm going to try to make it really easy, but I'm not really good at explaining all the time, so I'm going to try my best. So, first off, what you're going to need is a camera to blur out the background. Um, everyone needs a camera to take pictures or take videos. So that's your first step. Next step is to get a lens that has a low aperture. So when I say low aperture, um, I mean a low number, like 1.8, 1.2, or even like 2.8. If you don't know what aperture is, I suggest looking up what aperture is and how to adjust it and what it does and what it physically does to your lens. So once you've learned how to use aperture and how to set it and what it is, um, you have to get a lens, like I said, that has a, that has a low number aperture, um, like 1.8, like I said. This lens, for example, is one of them. This is the... Canon 50 millimeter and I got this in New York City when I went down there and it was pretty cheap It was like $120 or something, but um compared to a lot of lenses in the game. This is very cheap So this lens is cheap like I said, but that also kind of comes with a consequence Cheap lenses don't necessarily have the sharpest glass in them, which means you're not gonna get the sharpest pictures as you would if you paid like $500 for a 50 millimeter lens. So this specific lens goes up to aperture 1.8 and when you go up to 1.8 or like 2.8 to those low aperture numbers, the depth of field is very shallow and it, it can kind of get in the way of taking pictures because when you try to focus on the subject, it's gonna probably focus on something else that you don't want to and it that kind of gets in a hassle um, if you keep taking pictures with a low aperture. But with a low aperture, it also lets in more light and it also blurs the background. So when you shoot at low apertures, the aperture ring inside opens up all the way, but when you shoot at high high but when you shoot at high apertures, the aperture ring inside is very closed, not letting a lot of light in. So my 50 millimeter lens ha has a UV light um, filter on it, and what it is is just it kind of protects the lens from getting damaged or from getting damaged from the sunlight, and it's just a it's like a um, it's like a shield for your lens, so you don't have to pay more money to get another lens. So now I'm going to show you what it looks like at different aperture numbers. So hey everybody, um, I'm going to show you guys now what the pictures look from different aperture numbers and how blurred the background is. So right now, this picture is shot at an aperture of 1.8. And as you can see, the bu the background is blurred a lot and it's it looks really nice and really pretty. Um, and <laughs> so does my uh, Polaroid SX-72. Um, I love that, it's really cool. But anyway, um, so this, the bokeh, as it as it's called, um, in the background looks really nice and really blown out, and the picture is just really nice. But um, now, if you look at the picture, it's shot at four. I'm gonna go from just like random in increments. So if you look at the picture shot at 5.0, the picture um, doesn't look as like as pretty or as stunning because the background is uh, showing more, and you can see how boring the background is, and it just takes away from the picture. But in some situations, you might want to shoot at higher aperture numbers because let's say you're shooting in New York City, you don't want to necessarily blow out the background a lot because you want all that city detail and you want all the lights in there. And it kind of just takes away from the point of shooting in New York City, you know what I'm saying? So now this shot is shot at f11 and as you can see now, the background is progressively getting in, more in focus and the picture, personally, I think is getting more flat and boring, but you can... Um, it's, it's your opinion, um, of what looks better and what you think looks prettier or nicer, but, um, I just think it looks flat, personally. So, uh, lastly, the last 
aperture number is f22 which is the lowest the, which is the highest one on my camera and that the background is like very in focus it's there's no blurring of the background there's nothing so those are the different increments of apertures that you can shoot at um that will give you different results like majorly different results and you can choose which ones you like and that's all for this video guys i hope you liked this video Go subscribe to my channel. Go check out my Instagram. I post a lot of photos on there. Go check out my Flickr, everything. I'll put links down in, this, this, down in the description. And I hope you guys have a nice day. That didn't work. I'm sorry. Okay, just cut the video.